Well, thanks everybody for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, my name is Dustin DeVore. I'm a partner with the law firm of Kaufman and Knowles, and I'm the president of the superintendent's business advisory committee. Uh, we've put on this teacher of the year event for a number of years. Um, and about four or five years ago, several of us said, well, what do, the, what do the teachers get for teacher of the year? Someone said, well, they get this really cool apple. And uh, we said, well, what else do they get? And someone said, well, that's all they get. They, they get the, uh, the love, esteem, and respect of their peers uh, along with that. And we said, no, nah, that's not good enough. So about five or six years ago, uh, David Bush and Mark Sharp and Joe Poole and a number of Alan Graham, a number of us on the board said, you know what, let's, uh, let's try to raise some money so we give the teachers uh, something better. So uh, we, I think in the first year, each teacher got $250 or something like that. And uh, this year, um, I'm proud to announce that each teacher will be getting an award of $1,000 each. Um, so we're very proud of that. Um, that's 100% private money raised from individuals. Um, I'd like to uh, recognize, first of all, uh, our committee, the uh, Superintendent's Business Advisory Committee. We, we, we meet with the superintendent quarterly. Uh, talk to him about issues going on in the schools, ways that we can help him, ways that we can help the school board in getting information out to the community, letting him know what we're hearing in the community, because um, God knows there's never any rumors in Williamsburg. Um, so uh, uh, that's what we do. And uh, I know people always say I'll be short, but I'm not gonna be short because there's a lot of people that work hard for this. So uh, I'm going to uh, take my time to thank a lot of people uh, so bear with me. Um, I'd like to thank our Vice President Joe Poole from Colonial Williamsburg. Joe, for those, for those of you who don't know Joe, Joe's involved in about eight million different charitable things uh, around the community and uh, uh, is, is really a, a true asset to our community. I'd like to thank uh, Mark, Mark Sharp, uh, Mark and Wilma Sharp are here. Uh, Mark has, uh, along with being a uh, highly decorated Vietnam veteran, is, is also uh, been a pillar of our community for many, many years and uh, uh, someone that I've always looked up to and is, has been a, a mentor to me. Um, Andy Bradshaw, attorney in Tawano, otherwise known as the Emperor of Tawano, is here. There he is in the back, former member of the Board of Supervisors. Uh, David Bush from PB Mayors. Jeff Carroll, the principal at Warhill. I don't think Jeff is here. Uh, Dr. Stephen Constantino, who you all know, the superintendent of our schools. Just, uh, uh, and, and I say this every year, but it's true. We're really fortunate to have someone of Dr. C Constantino's experience. Uh, many of you may not realize this, but he is called on all over the country uh, by other school districts as an expert on education. And uh, I think we're lucky to have them, in, in my, my opinion. Uh, Sharon Cornelius from the United Way, who could not be here. Aaron DeGroft, who runs the Muscarelli Museum of Art. Uh, I don't think Aaron is here. Uh, Michelle DeWitt from the city of Williamsburg. Uh, Jim Golden uh, from the College of William and Mary. Uh, Alan Graham and his wife Beth, who are here. Alan runs one of the coolest companies in James City County called Core 6 Precision Glass. And uh, Alan has been one of our biggest donors. Alan, stand up, get embarrassed. Uh, Earl Granger from William & Mary. Uh, Jim Kelly, the chair of the school board, who's here. Uh, Paul Muse, who is the CEO of First Advantage Credit Union. Uh, Dean Niles from the College of Education here, who uh, has let us use this great facility. And Jim Stevenson, uh, who's here from Print Pack. Um, next, I'd like to thank our major donors. Obviously, this doesn't happen with um, a, a, lot of, a lot of dollars coming in the door. And uh, I know many of you are sick of me calling you asking for dollars, but I, I thank you for bearing with me. Um, I'd like, to in, in, uh, in particular, to thank our major donors, um, First Advantage Credit Union, uh, Paul Muse is here from First Advantage Credit Union. Uh, Alan and Beth Graham, who again have made a very sizable contribution from Core 6 Precision Glass. 
Uh, Senator Tommy Norman, who could not be here tonight, he's usually here, but he had um, a board meeting he had to be at, apologizes for not being here, but he again made a large donation. And I'd like to thank Mark and Wilma Sharp for their donation. And, and everyone else who made a donation. Um, I'd like to call up just for a quick minute Paul Muse from First Advantage Credit Union. Again, Paul is the CEO. For those of you who aren't familiar with First Advantage Credit Union, they're a real asset to our community uh, that do really incredible things. And uh, this is the third or fourth year in a row First Advantage Credit Union has been our major sponsor. And uh, they, they are really into education and, and assisting education. So I'll turn it over for just a brief minute to Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Dustin. How about we uh, take a minute and thank Dustin. Without all of his uh, hard work and really drive, this definitely wouldn't be possible. So thank you, Dustin. <laughs> and I, I know Dustin mentioned the, the annoying phone calls, but I will tell you, this one was not. So he, he gave me a call, and before he asked me, before you finish saying, would you uh, support Teachers of the Year Award? I think I said yes. I think I interrupted you before you finished. And the reason that is, I mean, I truly have firsthand experience uh, seeing all of our great teachers at work. I have a child who's in the uh, DJ. And uh, so once again, I, I couldn't, uh, couldn't wait for you to finish. But uh, that being said, it's really an honor for us at the Credit Union to support all of the teachers in our community. Uh, we really feel like without you, our community would not be as strong as it is. And uh, to that, we would like to congratulate everyone who was uh, nominated, and as well as those three winners here tonight. So thank you and congratulations. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Thanks Paul. Um, now I'd like to recognize some of our elected officials who are here. Uh, Jim Kelly, the chair of the school board. Uh, Kira Cook is here from the school board. Um, uh, who else from the school board is here? Let's see, oh, everybody's here. Okay, uh, Julie Hummel, Mary Miner, Holly Taylor, and Sandra Young. A lot of new faces that folks that I don't know. Jim, uh, Jim Beers is here as, as well. Did I miss anybody? Okay, great. Um, uh, is Delegate Mason here? He there. Monty's in the back. Thanks for being here, Monty. Uh, I saw uh, John McLennan is here. John, thank, there, there's John. John is always here every year. John, thank you for your support. Uh, Judy Knutson from the City Council is here. Uh, who else from the City Council is here? Paul Freiling's usually here. Is he here? Up oh, there, there he is in the back. Uh, anyone else from the City Council that I missed? Thank. Uh, and how about the Board of Supervisors? I know they are normally here, but a number of them had had conflicts today, and I don't think could, could make it. This is kind of a tough time of the year. Um, but again, we thank everyone uh, for being here. This is really uh, uh, an event that we all really look forward to. And uh, uh, you know, honoring teachers like this is, is something that we take a lot of pride in. So uh, with that, I would like to turn it over to Dr. Constantino. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim, Jim is next. The chairman of the board, <laughs> Jim Kelly. Uh, can't keep him on script. Um, <laughs> this is one of my most uh, favorite events of the year. Uh, it's, it's great when you have elected officials coming together to recognize our teachers. It's great when you have the community support and the support that we get from our private sector uh, coming out to recognize our outstanding teachers. Um, it's, just, it's, it's, just, it's just great to see. Uh, so, so tonight we'll be recognizing our 16 uh, Teachers of the Year from the individual schools. Uh, one of the key characteristics of a Teacher of the Year is uh, to desire to always get better, to always believe you can do a little better, to collaborate, to educate themselves, to try different strategies, to steal from others. All the teachers will chuckle at that one. Um, to believe you can always improve. So to continue to raise the bar. So, you know, the Teachers of the Year, this isn't their, this isn't their culmination, this isn't their, their final, they, all, they, they keep moving forward. Um, and we, but we have hundreds and hundreds of outstanding teachers in our school system who live those ideals every day. So on behalf of the Williamsburg James City County School Board, and as a parent of children who have or who are attending our schools, I wanna thank all of our teachers for the great work they do every day.
So we are privileged this evening to recognize several of WJCC's finest teachers. These skilled individuals exemplify the division's core values and each day they pursue excellence and champion the success of their students. It is because of teachers of this caliber that our school division is known for being premier. I'd like, to recognize the, I'd like to first recognize the 16 school level teachers of the year. As I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Remain standing, we'll see how they follow directions. Um, Sarah Sams from Bright Beginning, Teacher of the Year. James Goggin, Clara Bird Baker, Teacher of the Year. Fawana Wilcox, DJ Montague, Teacher of the Year. Marilee Ward, J. Blaine Blayton, Teacher of the Year. Heidi Meadows, James River, Teacher of the Year. Brian Cole, Matthew Whaley, Teacher of the Year. Andrea Friedland, Matoka Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Kelly Parsons, Norge Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Amy Gaunt, Rawls Bird Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Evelyn Jesse, Stonehouse Teacher of the Year. Sherry Grant Vandergriff, Berkeley Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Deborah Kozlowski, Lois Hornsby Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Valerie Hart, Tawano Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Chris Ames, Jamestown Teacher of the Year. Suzanne McCory, Lafayette Teacher of the Year. And Katie McLaughlin, Warhill Teacher of the Year. On behalf of the school board, I thank and honor all 16 school teachers of the year. Can we give them one last hand? Thank you, thank you. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank the Superintendent's Business and Community Advisory Committee. We would not be here recognizing these great teachers without their generous support of this event and of our Teachers of the Year. It is now time to introduce the WJCC Elementary, Middle, and High School Teachers of the Year, Dr. Constantino. I'm used to saying that, right? Dr. Constantino. Good evening, everyone. And I'd also like to just take a moment before we begin to thank the Superintendent's Business and Community Advisory Council. Uh, these are a group of people who are 150% dedicated to our school system, very wise people, uh, great vision for what our community and our schools could be. And it is an absolute uh, humbling privilege, quite frankly, to have an opportunity a few times a year to bounce ideas off of, off of really, uh, really smart community leaders uh, who have invested time and energy and resources in our schools and in our teachers. And so I would be remiss if I didn't offer my thanks, not only for this evening, but for all of the sage wisdom and the conversation and the counsel that we get from this group of people. It means a great deal to us. Thank you very much. All right. Um, it is now my distinct pleasure to tell you a little bit about each of our teachers of the year. First, Brian Cole, WJCC's Elementary Teacher of the Year. Mr. Cole, would you please join us? <laughs> Mr. Cole is a fifth grade teacher at Matthew Whaley Elementary School. He has been a member of the Whaley teaching staff since 2000 and has taught grades three through five. Mr. Cole is currently the fifth grade team leader and has held numerous leadership roles during his career. As a member of the clinical faculty program, Mr. Cole uses his teaching expertise 
to serve as a mentor and contributes to the preparation and support of pre-service and novice teachers. He also co-chairs staff development and serves as a safety patrol advisor at Matthew Whaley. Mr. Cole's personal philosophy of teaching is rooted in his own past experiences. Because of the mentorship of one of his high school teachers, Mr. Cole believes that by giving students a safe, nurturing environment, they can take risks and work towards self-improvement. Mr. Cole's efforts are grounded in his belief that teachers make a difference and are responsible for encouraging students to be their very best. According to Mr. Cole, life is about change, which motivates constant reflection in his teaching practices. As a teacher who understands that 21st century learning includes the use of technology in the classroom, Mr. Cole engages students in innovative learning through daily use of computers, quizdom, and iPads. His students are expected to present their knowledge by creating PowerPoint or Powtoons presentations. Mr. Cole also uses Quizdom remotes for daily exit tickets, which provide him immediate feedback on the day's learning. Principal Robin Ford says, as the leader of learning in his classroom, Mr. Cole sets goals with his students, involves them in engaging activities, often including technology, and encourages, encourages them to grow into responsible young citizens. Beyond his classroom, he mentors colleagues, shares his instructional te technical expertise, and continuously engages professional learning to hone his craft. For his many talents, Brian Cole is at his best at the side of a student, guiding him to believe in himself, gain confidence as his skills progress, and find joy in learning. Congratulations on your recognition as Matthew Whaley and WJCC Elementary School Teacher of the Year. Mr. Cole, Brian Cole. I feel like this is my Oscar. Uh, I've been told to hold it by the base. So. Um, I just want to sincerely um, thank um, my principal, Robin Ford, um, because under her guidance, she, she makes me a stronger person every day. Um, and uh, um, I'd also like to sincerely thank my wife, who is my cheerleader through good and bad. Um, and uh, picks me up on those on those days when I feel like um, I just I can't can't do it anymore. Um, and um, I'd like to thank my daughters who sometimes have to sacrifice their time so that I can prepare for for other um, for my students um, for their day. Um, and so and then I also she's not here right now, but my grandmother who raised me um, and she taught me to be a better person, um, and she saw something in me that I didn't see when I was young, and um, she introduced me to a teacher in ninth grade who took me under his wing, and, and it's because of that teacher who is the reason I'm here today, um, and uh, I still maintain contact with, with that teacher, so um, thank you so much, and thank you to the superintendent's business and community advisory. Thank you. most of you know, about a week before uh, this event, uh, the chairman of the school board and the superintendent have uh, the wonderful task of going into each one of our three finalist schools and surprising the teachers with um, the announcement that they are the level teacher of the year. Uh, Mr. Kelly and I, you can imagine the wonderful show that we put on as we travel from school to school. <laughs> and we got to Matthew Whaley and Ms. Ford whispered in our ear and said, Mr. Cole is, he's not in his classroom, he's working with, and so, uh, you know, we try not to, we try not to be overly, overly disruptive, we simply whispered back, put him in his classroom, uh, <laughs> and so somebody went over to the poor guy, lied to you, I think, I don't know what they told you, but got him back in his class, it was complete bedlam, we tore the place upside down, handed him a bunch of balloons and left, so I hope the rest of your day... <laughs> 
went relatively well. I think they told him Constantino's here with some boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dustin. <laughs> Um, I am now pleased to introduce Sherry Vandegrift, WJCC's Middle School Teacher of the Year. <laughs> Sherry, would you please join us? <clears throat> Ms. Vandegrift is an eighth grade English teacher at Berkeley Middle School and has been with WJCC since 2009. She is the English curriculum lead for Berkeley Middle School and has served as an instructional leader in the school on a variety of initiatives. Ms. Vandegrift has demonstrated lessons to her colleagues on high-yield instructional strategies and observing, analyzing for engagement. Ms. Vandegrift spearheaded the Right Talk program at Berkeley, where parents and community members talk to students about the importance of writing. When reflecting on her teaching philosophy, Ms. Vandegrift realizes that her perspective and passion are deeply influenced by those who have had a significant impact on her life. She is a fundamental believer that building trusting relationships and providing a nurturing learning environment are key ingredients for student success and engagement. Because of her philosophy that every child is unique, Ms. Vandegrift asks her students to complete an interest and multiple intelligence survey. This enables her to differentiate her instruction to enrich learning through meaningful activities that are geared toward student <coughs> interests and needs. Ms. Vandegrift described teaching as not just a career, but a calling. She described her learning environment as student-centered and designed to promote active student engagement. As one who believes collaboration helps her grow as an educator, Ms. Vandegrift models and teaches her students to collaborate and work together. At the start of school, her students brainstorm a list of appropriate and respectful behaviors and vote on their top five to be used as classroom norms. By creating a learning community based on responsibility and accountability, Ms. Vandegrift inspires students to set goals, observe and judge their own learning experiences and behaviors, and evaluate the effectiveness of their experiences. As an advocate of collaboration, Ms. Vandegrift believes collaboration without accountability is flawed. In order for success to ensue, it takes all involved to be respectful and responsible to each other. Through small group and peer assignments, Ms. Vandegrift's students are learning to become better communicators. They're also learning to care, respect, and cheer each other on. According to Ms. Vandegrift, collaboration is the lifeline for her students' achievement, the trust that is formed with parents and her success as a colleague and leader in her building. Berkeley Middle School Principal Amor Michael says that there are so many wonderful words that could be used to describe Sherry Vandegrift. She continues, Ms. Vandegrift works well with all students. One of her gifts is that she can truly motivate students, build their confidence, and make students feel like they can soar. For example, Ms. Vandegrift recently took two Berkeley students to UVA's spring game. These students may have otherwise never stepped, uh-oh. <laughs> Easy. Mark, are you gonna get up? And all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's not start. <laughs> Remember where we are. For, uh, <laughs> where am I? For example, <laughs> Ms. Vandegrift recently took two Berkeley students to UVA's spring game. I needed to repeat that. These students may have otherwise never stepped foot on UVA's campus, but instead returned to their school motivated to do what it takes to go to college. She is a go-to instructional leader in our school, and we are honored that she represents us. Congratulations on your recognition as Berkeley Middle and WJCC Middle School Teacher of the Year, Ms. Sherry Vandegrift. Thank you. teacher. We get wordy. Um, so I hope you'll be patient for the next hour. Since, since
since I don't have an orchestra to cut me off, unless Amy Davis pulls out her viola and tells me it's time to stop. Um, first, I want to thank my family, who has been quite generous and supportive and understanding always, giving me the time that I need to plan and correct papers and be ready for school. Thank my mom for showing me love, kindness, and respect for others. Um, Amy Davis, my friend for nominating me, she's our wonderful Berkeley Orchestra teacher there and for nominating me, I promise I'll learn to play the guitar this year sometime. Um, I've been blessed with incredible colleagues, Ed Van Dyke, Chandra Don, and Mary Glisson. I took a 17 year hiatus, okay, an extended maternity leave, um, to raise my children and I returned and they took me under their wings and were great role models and have gotten to me where I am today and I'm most grateful for that. I've also been very blessed with incredible principals, Karen Swan and Dave Gaston, who saw potential and promise and encouraged me and provided the opportunity for me to return into the classroom. Amor and Ed and Trissy, who are always supportive and entertain my thoughts and listening to me whenever I need to, to share ideas. Um, I also want to thank Lynn Davis, who is my trusted, and she did make me say this, brilliant collaborative teacher, um, <laughs> who I'm sure uh, would be happy for a small fee to share very funny stories from our classroom. Um, and always gratitude to my students who every day challenge me to be a better teacher and a better person. So for them, I'm most grateful. Um, being the first from my family to attend college, I am an example of how education can truly impact a child and shape their lives, especially how <coughs> teachers, most importantly, can change a child's life. The teachers who took the time to build a positive relationship, valued and respected me, understood how I best learned, tapped into my attention, my my potential and held me accountable, changed and charted my life's course by their countless hours of time invested in my education and personal growth. Those teachers paid it forward and the results of their efforts are still ongoing through the investment that I have been able to invest in my, the lives of my current and former students. They are the teachers I emulate, who I hope that I have become and who have helped what form what I believe about teaching and learning. This recognition is much bigger than me. It symbolizes all the teachers beyond here that have paid it forward, all the teachers who currently answer the call to serve our community in such a positive and meaningful way. What an incredible responsibility we have and what a blessing to witness the impact. This past Saturday, as they shared, I did take two students to the UDA game. It was a blast. We had a great time. And it was so much fun to come back. They are so inspired. They are two students who want to play high school and college football academically. They both need to work hard. But this was an inspiration for them. They're now talking about college. I'm so excited for them. They have new perspective, desire to focus, and achieve. Continue to challenge yourself to look beyond your students' circumstances and help them to achieve their dreams. My journey with WJCC started as a parent, and it's wonderful to see a few of the colleague, the, my colleagues here who actually taught my children, so I'm so excited to see you honored as well. You have paid it forward and will continue to impact their life journey by the positive imprint that you have left on their life path. You have impacted not just my children, but all the children who are fortunate enough to call you teacher. Never lose sight of the difference you can make. Continue to instill a lifelong love for learning. Thank you. And finally, Chris Ames, WJCC's High School Teacher of the Year. Mr. Ames, thank you for your We learned a lot about Mr. Ames the day we visited your yes, classroom, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote that down. <laughs> it's a joke. Don't, don't write the newspaper. <laughs> Mr. Ames teaches math at Jamestown High School. He is a product of WJCC schools, and he has worked with the division since 2011. 
Mr. Ames is passionate about teaching math and holds professional memberships in the Richmond, Virginia, and national Teachers for Mathematics organizations. Mr. Ames is viewed as an instructional leader in the Jamestown community, and he has worked with colleagues to increase student support, assessment literacy, and the use of technology in the classroom. Mr. Ames' love for math prompted his career, but the relationships he builds with his students motivates his teaching. Mr. Ames' philosophy of teaching is based strongly on his relationships with students. He believes that the single most important aspect of teaching is his focus on building honest, trusting relationships. In the words of Mr. Ames, quote, when students trust me, they're not afraid to be wrong. They're willing to work harder than they ever have because they know that I will be there for them when they are not succeeding. Mr. Ames also believes that anyone can succeed. The criterion for success needs to be differentiated for every student as every student is in a different place in math knowledge and abilities. His philosophy is if you meet students where they are, you can give them the help that best suits them. Mr. Ames keeps his students engaged in learning through creative lessons, innovative technology, hands-on lessons, and encouraging students to experience learning in a whole new way. As an educator, Mr. Ames is proud of his ability to positively influence how students view learning math. His use of iPad apps has not only made learning fun for students, but it also has increased student engagement and understanding of the content. Jamestown High School Principal Kathy Worley described Mr. Ames as a remarkable teacher. She adds, he is a master of content and does an outstanding job teaching students in algebra all the way through to calculus. If I had to speak to one thing that stands out about him, it would be that he truly cares about his students and puts forth every effort to build meaningful relationships with all of his students. I often walk by his classes and hear him breaking down a skill in algebra for his students in English and then in Spanish, if necessary, to accommodate some of our ELL students. He takes on leadership roles in our building and always seeks opportunities to grow as a professional. Congratulations on your recognition as Jamestown High School and WJCC High School Teacher of the Year, Chris Ames. Constantino said, I, I actually grew up in Williamsburg. I went to Norge, I went to Tawana, I went to Lafayette. Williamsburg has always been part of my life. I actually started my life right here on this property. It wasn't a school though, it was a hospital, but I actually started right here. Um, when, when I went to grad school at VCU, I told my, uh, my advisor, I said, um, I'm going back to Williamsburg. I said, that's where I want to go. I want to go back to Williamsburg. And um, I actually applied to one county. And that was the year all the jobs were really hard to get. So she said, you might want to apply somewhere else, you know. And I actually couldn't get a job in Waynesburg. There wasn't available. But I still said, I want to go back to Waynesburg. And I want to go back to Waynesburg. So Chuck Wagner gave me the chance. He hired me at Jamestown. And I love Jamestown. So I want to thank my wife. If anybody who knows me, I'm a little bit of a mess all over the place. She keeps me straight at home. I want to thank... Debbie McDowell and Dr. Worley, um, they keep me straight at school, they focus me, and um, they inspire me for everything they do. Thank you to all the teachers that uh, are here today, and thank you for everything you do. Mr. Kelly and I thought that we were being very clever to sneak into <laughs> Jamestown High School uh, Mr. Kelly with a handful of balloons uh, and me leading the way. And what we didn't know, and the little joke with Mr. Ames, is we found out that his classroom is situated as such that he can see the entire parking lot and everyone who enters or exits Jamestown High School. And watched Frickin' Frack come in with the balloons <laughs> and still was very gracious when he faked surprise. But he knew we were, we were coming around because we were tweeting now. And then he's like, oh, they're coming. are they coming here? They're yeah, coming here. They're coming yeah. Here. So we, we, just, we just, we had a ball there. We, I could have stayed all afternoon. I, it was great. But it was kind of funny because we thought we were pretty clever. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I want to ask Mr. Kelly and Mr. DeVore to stay with me just one more minute. <clears throat> now in our third year, the WJCC Teacher of the Year program recognizes outstanding teachers from each division school. Uh, there was a time when we were unable to do that, uh, but with the support and, 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 the, and the tremendous support that we get from the advisory committee, we've been able to expand this to invite all of our Teachers of the Year, have our three level Teachers of the Year. It's also the third year that we'll have a WJCC Division Teacher of the Year who will represent WJCC in the Virginia Teacher of the Year program. The WJCC Division Teacher of the Year was selected from the three level teachers of the year that you just met after an additional review of nominating packets and visits to each one of the classroom's teachers to see them in action. It is now our pleasure to announce the WJCC Teacher of the Year. Mr. Kelly, you have the honor of making this announcement. I do. You do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. <clears throat> what it says. It's, that's what it says. That's right. <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Overkeen Smith didn't share that part of the uh, thing with me. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is, Kelly. Uh, congratulations to Sherry Vandegrift. She does have another prepared speech. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Thank you. I'm so excited. I'm going to Disney. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you in the success of any school system is the strength of the teachers in the classroom. And we certainly are so fortunate to have a tremendous workforce and that is no more better represented today than the people that you, you have met. Um, I also would be remiss to say that we certainly do have uh, some light refreshments for you and uh, last I checked they were paid for, so please help yourself. <laughs> uh, we can't save them for next year. Uh, we hope that you'll stay a few minutes, meet our teachers, and meet with each other. Uh, anything else that you wanted to offer? Uh, no, I'm good. Just one thing. Um, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say uh, we are always looking for donations for next year. <laughs> so uh, Mark Sharp, raise your hand. Our treasurer, Mr. Sharp, would be more than happy to, uh, to, uh, to take that from you. So thank you again. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate your coming. <laughs>